MTG Grinders, we are back for round one here. All right, let's see what we've got. We draw three white cards and a green morph. Interesting. Hmm. We're on the draw. I think we can afford a mulligan on that one. And that seems a bit better, I think. Yeah, that seems fine. All right, let's keep that one. We are off to the races. Guys, you might notice the new NTG Grinders logo. Uh, that's getting around on Facebook as well now, so make sure you uh, like that one. Um, a lot of hard work went into that, so, you know. Thanks, Dave, for working that one out. Um, but, yeah, it's quite good, I think. A little bit, a little bit as one of our, our readers said, a little bit fancy, but it's um, it's definitely an upgrade, I think, guys, having our own little brand. Be exciting to see how that pans out. Oh, Jessica Siege. Looks like we're not... opponent's going to get to a mill. Oh, what a perfect draw. Perfect draw. Oops. Untap. And I think we actually go and get a land here. We are off. We got our plans into play. Sorry, on top of our library. Um, just a bit of a auto crack there. And uh, yeah, so the, the logo is quite good. And uh, we're hopefully going to get uh, t shirts and things like that happening as well, which is pretty exciting. Um, start to develop the MTG Grinders brand a little bit more, you might say. All right, Cloudform, Enchantment, uh, Chance Benefit, Aura, Enchantment, Benefit, Aura, Library. Okay. Flying Hexproof. Well, we're getting a merciless execution of that. Be interesting to see what our opponent does. We won't block. For a start. What do we got here? Target non-attacking creature, gain reach, and death touch. Most less execution for each player sacrifices a creature. Gets plus two, plus two, and trample. Okay. Let's play out the card he knows about. Let's attack. Wow, okay, so our opponent does block. Interesting. So we've got some options here, guys. We can... Um, okay, so we can look at doing this. So target attacking creature gets plus two, plus two, and trample to the end of turn. Um, we should blow him. Well, I mean, it's not going to blow him out, but it's kind of a two for one. So, um, yeah, look, I think we'll just keep our guy alive for now. And we'll still get to deal one as well. We get to see our opponent's manifest card. Okay, that was a mountain. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so opponent has a tap land. Um, hopefully, he doesn't have a lot going on here. Interesting. I think we attack. If he offers up a trade, that's great, and then we can try to we can morph down our Abzan guide. So if our opponent wants to trade. He doesn't.
Okay. Tracking okay. So our opponent has access to his other colors now, so he's on Jeskai. Oh, wow. He's not necessarily on Jeskai. Well, maybe he could just be running that as a uh, just as a life gain land, as often people do. Interesting. Mm, he's obviously got a spell, so we'll just take the one. Wow, what did that do? Blow out. Okay. We'll get our first strike guy into play. But that's okay, I think, I mean, we're happy for our opponent to use his resources up at the moment. We'll have 6-3 here. And I think we're happy to block, we'll, we'll probably block the Jeskai Sage with our 3-3 this turn. And our opponent has another life gain land. I think if he attacks with both, he's definitely got a trick. And there's a Mardu charm. All right, so he's looking to definitely. Um, he's used he's used a lot of his things, so that's fine. More than happy with that. Um, and I think we'll just. I think we'll just leave it. We'll take the four. Not all that's happening at the moment. I'm getting for one. And we've got a pine walker here, so. We'll just get him into play, I think. Our opponent's used, uh, you know, a few removal spells, so... Um, you know, a few tr combat tricks and things like that, so I'm, I'm pretty happy at the moment. If he's got another removal spell, then he does, but that's okay. We'll keep, um, keep on dropping your threats and seeing what happens. So he's definitely playing Dismal Backwater for a reason. Which is pretty good, interesting. I mean... And our opponent has a dragon. And we need removal. Okay. I think we attack first. Damn. Damn it. I shouldn't have attacked. Should have played Frontier Mastered on second uh first before it before attacking. I think I want to attack is I wanted to chump block with Jesco Sage. Oh he doesn't. Well that's fine. Just gonna say, just dying. I'm about to get milled here as well. I mean, our opponent has. We've got a pretty good clock. So, what are we hitting for? We're hitting for nine. And three, so it's at 12 damage. So our opponent, our opponent does have to be mindful of attacking here. Especially if he doesn't have a lot. Hmm. 
I guess he's gonna. No books. Watch this four removal spells. I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen. I don't even want to look. Land, land, land. Big guy land. Oh, I'll take that. That's actually really good for us. Thank you, you crazy dragon. Hate that guy. Everyone always has it against me. Then we'll just draw a plane. There's a swamp. Um, it's not good. Well, we can't really attack, so. What's that? So that was planes, planes, this guy, planes, swamp, and the five, top five cards in the library. So that's not good. And he's got a guy that's unblockable. Great. We're getting here for seven. We're going to need some good cards this turn. So five. Okay. Dragon is the top card that it goes. Kill shot goes. And another dragon go demon goes. So that's fantastic. Four piles of gas. And we draw land. Okay. Alright, that's cool guys. We um we didn't do very well. Uh, that's interesting. Let's um let's throw I wonder if we try to throw our opponent off here. Let's see. Begins by lording. Alright. Look. Just maybe. Just maybe. Let's just print screen that for a second. Um interesting. I'm gonna try something here. Let's get the old snippy tool out. Okay, cool. Now we're just gonna try. Let's just oh, let's throw caution to the wind. Let's go Jeskai for game two. Okay. Okay. Now we've got access to we've got access to a bit like fire fire hoof cavalry is not the greatest by any means, but it does get in trouble. It is it is a guy that can attack early on. Take up arms, lightning shriek. Arison is slow, but it does deal four damage. We need to have access to killing that killing his dragons. Alright. Let's yeah, we probably got to drop Arrow Storm. All right, twenty-four lands, six there. Let's 
tough call. I mean, it's probably the worst card in the deck, so I'll probably get rid of the cavalry. Alright. Let's add in some lands. Okay. And we're in. No time to do anything else. We had to do it. We had only two minutes, so. Submit. Yes. Alright. And the deck didn't change. Okay. We didn't. We run, must have run out of time. Okay. So, um, it's a good try, but it's something interesting to think about. We're going to keep this. We've got some removal here, and we've got access to an Heir of the Wilds. Just going to make sure this is still active. It is active. Fantastic. Okay. All right. Just a six through this. Okay. Next turn, I think we can use pressure point on a guy. He's probably gonna. Have to, he's gotta have to start having some of this tap lands soon. Um, I think having yeah, he can't just he, playing that many tap lands. I think um, you can't have too many basics untapped early. I'm pretty lucky, really, to be able to have access to that. But I think here we can definitely pressure point and uh, hopefully draw a land. Or not. We'll just not draw anything. Okay. Our opponent's probably going to turn this raid guy on here that does 2 damage. So we're going to take out our morph again. Seems pretty good. Interesting. Gonna take out the air of the wilds. Well, we are doing a very, very good job of not drawing anything at the moment. So um, I guess we just have to play our three-two, so you can try with the uh, the uh, either of our opponent's guys if need be. Yeah, I'll offer up a trade on the on the uh, heart piercer if our opponent wants to. Yep, take two. Another one. Well, good on you, mate. Uh, we are not doing too well here at the moment. We have six. I think we ought to make the most of our removal here and get rid of this. Uh, get rid of one of our opponent's creatures. Okay. Let's go to deck. I'm not so sure. Well, I mean, 
Well, this game's effectively over. I'm just not drawing very well here. I don't know what I have to do in this in this game. Sometimes I just uh, don't seem to get the, the luck that's needed to play the game. Anyway. Opponent can play all the colours and get all the lands. But that's alright. Let's just keep trying. Let's get three attackers here. We're gonna we're still going to kill shot another one. Let's see if our opponent can copy it if he wants. But... So he's got to have a, he's got to have a non creature. There we go. Okay. So we're going to take four. Hopefully we can um, get access to another mana here. He's probably going to have a dragon. No, no morph. Oh, nothing again. So draw the sixes and sevens, apparently. Oh, dear. All right, our opponent's up. It's F6. Regardless of what happens here, we're going to have to block. And I think we have to block the morph. Okay. Parents just had all the answers. Um, so the right amount of guys, the right amount of rule, right amount of tricks, right amount of land, and uh, we have it. So there's not much I can say. Uh, it's one of those things with Magic Online. Sometimes you have a good deck and you just don't draw very well at all. But I'm going to try out the Jeskai build uh, in game two, uh, or sorry, round two, if we. Uh, Make it there. Let's try again. <laughs> All right. So opponent's just got more tricks. Oh, okay. We will go to one and do nothing. Well. Um, that was a match, and uh, look, hopefully uh, things can pick up for round two.